I made a model of wireless charging dock. What's up guys, my name is Big DC, you can call me DZ, and today we're going to be talking about my Model O wireless. More specifically, how I charge it. <laughs> I'm really excited about this video, by the way, because uh, this video has been... I've been designing this thing for like two weeks now. I know that's not long in terms of like designing things, but like... It's just... It's been hell. I had to redesign it like three times already. Not really redesign, just go back and fix things. Going back and fixing things in Fusion 360 is not easy. Um, but anyway, here it is. We, we roll the B-roll here and then like... Yeah. Okay, so this is it, basically. Uh, there I put a few design uh, like aesthetics to it. Uh, which is like me, so like Big DC, there's my name. This is uh, my life, stupidest life. I don't know if you can see that, we're gonna we have bureau for that. And uh, one step at a time and my logo. So this is my Model O wireless uh, charging dock, or I like to call it the MoDock, if you guys know the reference. Um, this is my MoDock, basically. And uh, yeah, it it's a dock. Uh, like the Model O wireless comes with a charging cable. So the way you charge it is that the, it was actually really smart of Model O uh, for Glorious to do it this way, so that you can so that you can still use the mouse even though it's charging. But for me, I would rather my solution was to make the if I needed to charge the mouse, I would dock it, and then in the morning it would be fully charged. Right. So it's a lot like how the Viper Ultimate charges, and also. Uh, I think the the Logitech charges, it also charges in the same way. You can dock it and it would charge and would last for a long time. So I, I, I wanted the same experience because I didn't want a cable while I was uh, using it. And I still have my old mouse, which is my Logitech G304 or 305 in some countries, which I use when my Model O is charging or is low bat. So I made and designed this in Fusion 360. I'm going to be releasing the STL uh, on Thingiverse. It's going to be uh, in the description. And uh, yeah, this took me two weeks and like five days of hell to design and finish. So this was a very big stepping stone for me in terms of 3D modeling physical things because I had to take an image i didn't know how to take an image before starting this i didn't know how to take an image and uh calibrate that image so that it is dimensionally accurate in the software so i had to learn how to do that which is fairly simple in fusion 360 you just click a button and uh you just click a button pin two points and it would calibrate the whole photo but yeah it's a it opens a lot of big doors in terms of uh, creating more models that are accurate to like physical real world items so I can now like uh, photos for pho uh, photograph like and photograph an item and then model it around that item in the software so uh, yeah this is like the first like real example so if you want to see how it works you just there's a magnetic uh, type C uh, cable that is installed here and then there's a other the other side that is uh, the dongle that is attached to the permanently attached not permanently but it's there on the model O so you get these for like phones and uh, yeah you put the dongle on the model O and it just stays there so it's still wireless but it charges by like uh, clipping onto that charger and then it just stays on the dock and this stays on your desk like that it's a lot better than my version one i also made a video about that my version one was more of a display so it displayed it like top right like this although it would be fairly simple to make this a top right display it it was not a great uh docking experience there's a reason why the viper ultimate and the uh logitech g pro wireless docks on a 35 degree or 45 degree angle this is a 30 degree angle 
Uh, it's because when it's on your desk, it's really it's really annoying when the when it's docked like vertically, because your your arm needs to be physically upright in order to get it, and that that creates like carpal tunnel, like you're overextending your wrist. So uh, yeah, this is like this is this is like the perfect angle. And then yeah, it just stays really nice on the desk, and uh, it's really really nice. I was super excited about that. Um, but one of the big problems I have right now with the dock is that it's a solid item, but it prints with infill. So like when you print a 3D object on a 3D printer, it creates infill, which it com uh, it computes how much infill you need. For example, I set it at 20%, right? Or you can set it at 30 or 50 or 100. So that if it's 100%, it's completely filled with plastic. So the way I printed mine is it's 20% infill. So that means it only has 20% plastic inside and 20% air. So it's really light. That's the big problem right now. And since it's super light, it actually lifts. When I try to remove the mouse, it lifts the whole dock with the mouse. The dock itself right now is lighter than the mouse itself. It's around 50 something grams only. So that is one of the big problems. The way I solved it, I just put double-sided tape on the bottom and just stuck it on the desk. It's super simple to remove the double-sided tape if I need to. And also if, if it wears out, I'll just replace the double-sided. But yeah, double-sided tape like works. So yeah, that is the Modo Wireless Charging Dock, or I like to call it the Modoc. And uh, I'm gonna release the STL of this one, the, the one with aesthetics. And then I wanna, I don't know if I should sell it online. I have like a Shopee shop that I have that I used to sell like a d and uh, 3D printed gears that I designed, but it never really went, it, it never really like took off. It was, uh, I sold one and then that was it. Nobody else bought any, but uh, yeah, I might, I might put this on the, on the Shopee listing as a, uh, uh, make to order and also I can also probably make it so that I can design uh, Like the faces for you. So like it's really customized uh, I can put your own logo. You can put your own text whatever and then uh, Yeah, I'm super excited. It's super fun uh, It opened a bunch of things for me in terms of 3d modeling and 3d designing and uh, yeah Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I was like really sure I just wanted to show it off. I've been working on it. Uh, I've been li actually live streaming the when I first made it all the way to when I finished it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, if you guys want to watch more live streams like that, like my design streams, I hold it on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash big DCPH. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell me in the comments what you think I should add or remove. I really want to add RGB, but I'm not that skilled yet in 3d modeling in order to add rgb to it i don't know where i'd put it as well but yeah it's super fun it's super uh super easy uh i think anybody can design this if they had like the time and uh yeah i think uh the next video i'm gonna be doing it's gonna be a really short video as well it's my uh my camera mount for my monitor so right now i have like camera mount like I have this problem because I can't, I, my, my, my camera mount on my desk is super far away because my desk is huge. So I designed a mount so that I can mount a, uh, what's it called? Ball head or a, like a tripod head on a 3D printed thing that hangs on your monitor. So it's, it's this thing. This will be, um, this will be the next video right here. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I'll be uh, next week, I guess. Or maybe within the week. I have no idea. It's going to be a short video anyway. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this was a super simple, super easy, uh, super simple video. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, put it down below. Hopefully uh, we can design like a V3. Because this would be the V2 already. The V1 was the brown one that I did before. This would be the V2, but I call it the mode dock because it's actually a dock now. And then the V3, I don't know what the V3 is going to be. Maybe RGB, maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, Glorious, if you're watching, hey, what's up, bro? You want to maybe, uh, uh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, 
you can contact me anywhere i have all my social media down below and uh yeah see you next time alam <laughs>